commentary for game three of the final of the COVID-19 Open. This is between Fweb and Abyss. Fweb has, Abyss has the white pieces in this game. This match so far had Abyss won one game and they tied, they drew one game. So the score is currently one and a half to one half in favor of Abyss. Uh, so standard opposite corner opening, and I apologize. I uh, the opening play confused me. It uh, Fweb has the white pieces, and this is so far quite standard. the The most common thing to do here is to play parallel to each other in the center for a few pieces, and then at some point. Black, in this case Abyss, will probably play a capstone in a position so that they can cut off White's road threat, since White has the tempo, and so if they just kept playing, White would get a road first. Um, so, and they could, he could do that this move. He could also wait one more. Okay, so White didn't go straight with the road, so now... If Black wanted to, <clears throat> he could con continue building a straight road, and then he would get the threat first, and White would have to cut him off. However, because he's started building a threat in the opposite direction along the um, B rank, when he p puts his cap probably on B5 or C5, then he's ready to cut it off, and all of a sudden he has a very serious threat. Um, north up and down the board and black only has a threat in the other direction so okay and abyss sees this and so he places his cap right in the action so he can cut off either of those threats so moving c2 to c3 cuts off the horizontal threat and moving c2 to c B2 cuts off the vertical threat. By placing there, what Fweb has done, it means that with two moves, he can move his cap up to C4 and over to B4 and get it much more solid. Whereas if he had let black play around his cap, all of a sudden capturing is no longer as nice a thing to do. Black could theoretically do a similar thing by playing on B2, but then he is moving towards the F side of the board, whereas white has all of the action on the A side of the board. So that's probably not a good idea. If he's being defensive, he could likely play a move like B1 or A2 just to try to neutralize White's threat going on there. He could also try to make threats of his own by playing E3 and essentially trying to get dominance on the E and F ranks files, the E and F files, which would then kind of, it could create this situation where you have split sides Syme is saying he likes the move e5, which, again, builds, it creates more options for the um, east-west road while also starting to build the north-south road on the ENF ranks. The reason that it's kind of useless to make attack threat here by playing F4 or A4 is that then white can just capture on C4 with his capstone, 
and that's exactly the move he wants to make anyway. And so Black has just essentially for forced White to do what he wants to do. And then by cutting off that, all of a sudden, the stone on A4 or F4 no longer feels particularly good. So instead, Syme is playing, plays on the A3. So what he's trying to do is he essentially wants to have options. When he moves, he wants to be able to move his cap over to block White's threats or maybe capture with a flat stone and have a more solid, useful position instead of just having White be able to move around. So just he, essentially what he's doing with this move is getting pieces in the action and getting flat stones placed in important positions is always a good thing to do early game. Abyss has used a little more time. I, part of that was, I think he missed about a minute on the start, but the game is long enough that that shouldn't be a concern, and the fact that they started anyway means that it's not. Okay, so White just continues to build up his position. He's decided until there's a threat, there's no reason to do the capture. He can do the capture whenever he wants. And this is the flip side of Black not forcing the captures, that White can delay. And keep making just keep adding more and more flats to the position without having to start the next to start acting and all of a sudden white now has multiple different places he can connect in the up and down direction This position, okay, so Abyss decided he did not want White to capture on C4 with his capstone, and so he took a proactive step. And the key is, he's done a flat-on-flat -flat capture early in the game, which is usually bad, but by making it right up next to his capstone, there's not nothing much White can do. And now, my... A likely thing Black can do is weak is capture a, again on C3, this time with his cap, creating a hard capstone, which is would be quite powerful in that position in the middle of the board. And the fact that he did the C4 down capture last move makes me suspect he's at least thinking about doing this, because then... Then he um because essentially then if he's not planning to make a hard cap, I don't know why he did that. So I suspect that he's going to if it was me, I would make a hard cap there. Maybe he sees something that I don't, but the fact that the fact that he's thinking so long here is strange because he made an he made an unusual move and White responded immediately with the op obvious move. So I would have thought that he had a plan, but maybe, I don't know. Since he, he didn't make the hard cap, at least not yet, I am not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what Abyss's plan is here. One thing he could be doing, yeah, you see, now White can get a hard cap. White in the center, okay, so now he makes it. Yeah, I think that that exchange, White came out on top. Um, Because all of a sudden, White has two up-down threats that he can make by moving his cap in either direction. Um, 
Black, on the other hand, only has a single east-west threat, and his cap is not enough. He would have to make two captures to capitalize on that threat, which means he can't put his opponent in tack without making a capture, which is less than great. And the other key thing to realize here is if the, if that is that if Fweb wanted to give up his um hard capstone, he could throw it in either direction and cover up two white fl two black flats in the same move, which would then be pretty good. Um, because the key is that, so Black has worked on his threat, but it's not, there's nothing concrete yet. He also, important to bear in mind that the F and E files are still very open, so Black still has the idea of trying to dominate there. But white can throw C4, D, E, and kind of get over in that in position part of the board anyway. So I wouldn't be surprised here if we saw Fwib go on A2 or maybe C5 to try to shore up his position on the A side of the board with the idea that he will then throw his capstone to the F side of the board later. Because I think it's not nearly as straightforward. So, Simon is saying that he likes the move of throwing the cap to the left to um A4 b4 and a4 right now my concern there is that that doesn't make an immediate threat and it gives black a lot of space on the f side of the board because once white's thrown his cap to a4 then he can, Hicks cap is way far out of the action on the F side. And so then if we saw that, we might see Abyss just move his entire capstone stack onto B3, keeping his hard cap and cutting off White's threat. And um, yeah, so White didn't do that. White instead has tried to shore up his position on the A and B rank. Black has gone through with the capture to make a horizontal attack threat. White blocks it by keeping his heart flat, which is I that that move is the reason why I would have been hesitant as Black to make that threat because I think White just has a better capstone now and he's prepared to make a threat, a horizontal threat on D. He is prepared to make some headway, sorry, a vertical threat on D, he's prepared to make some headway horizontally over on five and six, or on one and two. So now I think, yeah, so Abyss keeps making threats, but I mean, black has to decide, how, white has to decide how he's going to respond, but I don't I don't see it being that serious. And they currently have the same number of flat stones visible, which means because of the three-point Comey, black is ahead by three on flat if the game went to a flat win. So black is under pressure here. Sorry, white is under pressure here to make a road. And 
so w one thing that Abyss could be doing is just if he keeps making threats and White has to keep responding to his threats and nobody makes any progress on flats, then Black is going to delete the default with him. If, so in other words, he could keep going with that and place a flat on F3 to make another threat. But then the issue is White will just move his entire capstone stack onto E3, which ends that particular saga. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Abyss play E4 or D4 here to just try to keep working on it. The other option would be to play F2 to try to build up his vertical threat over there. Or maybe try, or maybe proactively deal with black, white's threat on the uh, five on rank five by playing c five or maybe f five. It's probably unnecessary because c five is within easy reach of black's capstone, so there's not a massive threat there. Um, yeah, he could also, the other thing about playing c5 is that would be Abyss's best bet on getting a substantial um, horizontal threat on that side of the board, because that's, that if white were to play c5, then all of a sudden that disconnect would be pretty hard for black to make up. An important one advantage for Black in this position is that his hard cap is in a more central position than White's hard cap, which means that it can be useful anywhere on the board, whereas White can't. White's flat stone can only really be used in the DEF area kind of place. As usual, Abyss is low on time. Well, not low yet, but he has used more time. He's currently about four minutes behind Fweb on the clock. Yes, I think Bla he has to either probably play d4 or c4 to block white threats one of them can be blocked with a capstone but yeah the, the board is very open for this stage in the game Syme says this is basically won by white now i'm not sure that i agree because Black doesn't, all Black has to do to win is stop White from getting a road and stop White from getting plus four flats or plus three flats. So, well, okay, yeah, no, after yeah, that is correct. And so the, the board is open enough. I think if Black just fills it with pieces, maybe a couple walls, he can. It wouldn't be that hard to stop White from getting an immediate road. The it, Black's issue is that he doesn't have immediate threats, so White is going to get cap threats before Black does, which will make Black has to play defensively, but again, he has that advantage on flat, so it's not such a terrible thing for him. I wouldn't be surprised to see E6 here, maybe even a wall on E6, 
just because that threat, because of white's capstone placement, black has a harder time blocking a road on the E file than he does anywhere else on the board, essentially. Again, the unusual thing about this position is how open it is. They very they and that's because they built up in the beginning it was fairly normal and then they quickly gobbled up pieces with their capstones. They each have a stack under their capstone with a hard cap but no other of their own captives. And then there's just kind of flat scattered all over the board. Abyss is really thinking for a long time, so that indicates to me that he thinks that he's in trouble. So he does play a wall on e5. Basically, the idea is, since white has more play in this position, Abyss would like to kind of just shut everything down and try to win on flat stones, I think. And... So white just keeps filling in to make his threat. I wouldn't be surprised to see more flats thrown in to complicate things. So just maybe a flat on D1, uh, sorry, a flat on D6, or maybe a flat on D1. It's important to note that blacks cap can come over to d3, but it can't obviously come to d4, and it would take some work to get it to. It can't it obviously can't come to e3, and it would take some work to get it to d4. It's also possible we'll see another wall, just to try to shore up the position, because I think that Abyss can afford it. Yeah, so it's currently 7 to 9 in favor of white, but it should be noted that white played last. So after, if black would play a flat, it would be 8 to 9. And so that's plus 1 in favor of white. So Abyss does play another wall. So essentially what he's saying is, I need to shut down this threat, and then maybe I can win on flats, or maybe you can get a road later in the game. But if white gets a road now, then... Well, that's game over, obviously. And the advantage of having two walls is that the capstone can only crush one of them. Yeah, so... White continues to make his threat, and now Black has to directly respond. Probably the most obvious move here is to move three C, three C three right, because what that would that does is it not only does it block the threat immediately, but it also places Black's capstone in the line of the threat, and so if necessary, he can throw the cap and spread it out a bit. And White, meanwhile, has kind of doubled down on this particular threat, this threat in specific, which means that if Black shuts down this threat, he kind of gives himself a bit of breathing room. So probably what I would play here is C3 right, 3C3 right. The other thing he could do is play E5 left cutting off, but then white can just keep playing flat stones up there, and they'll keep building up underneath the wall, and eventually it'll run out. Yeah, so he did my move. And he doesn't want to throw it, but he can, and he can also just, again, move the entire stack to d4, or move the entire stack to d2,
The interesting thing is White could play E1 with Tack because he can crush the wall. However, if he did that, then Black could move his wall to E4, and White's cap can only crush one of the wall. Yeah, so now I wouldn't be surprised if Black moves his wall to E4, and then White can only crush one of the walls. And if he does that, yeah, and so now White's capstone is trapped. And if he crushes one of the two walls, then Black will move his capstone and retake all of those captives, which would be pretty devastating. So yeah, now White keep, starts building on another threat. But Black, it's this, this isn't so worrying. Black is in a decent position here because he can play C3, just a flat on C3 to cut off the vertical threat. He could also play a, he could also play um, F5 or F6 to cut off the horizontal threat up there. Ideally, he'd like to play both at the same time, but yeah, so he's played C3. Now, I, I, okay, so white connects everything up there. So now, I suspect we will see si uh, Fwib play. I mean, we will see si a bit I think we'll see Abyss play on F5 or F6 because White has to come through there to make his road. And the issue is Black has a wall in that area, but the wall is pinned basically because otherwise White can get his, his other threats back. <clears throat> The big, still the big problem for Black is that he doesn't really have any mature threats of his own. And currently, as the board stands, the flats are tied. In other words, if nothing changed and White ended the game in a flat count on White's turn, the game would be a draw. If Black ended it on Black's turn, then the game would be a win for Black. And so all that, that's gotten much closer since Black played his two walls. Okay. Black um, played on C2, trying to build up a threat of his own. What I would be worried about here is what are you going to do when white plays on e5 or e6 with tack and so yeah so now what do you do do you have to you probably have to play a wall on f5 with the idea that you move it over to e5 and then move it over to d5 and kind of shut everything down but by, but with that with that wall abyss would fall behind on flat count which all of a sudden is not a great, not what you would love to do. He could play extremely passively with a flat on F5, but I am skeptical if that would be enough. And Abyss is down to under three minutes. He's nearly ten minutes left less left than his opponent. And so he captured there. The advantage of that capture is that he works on his own up down threat while blocking Fwib's threat. The disadvantage is that now Fwib, if he wants can either play F6. Okay, so he played defensively. See, what I would have expected is A5 down, because that makes a threat again, 
<clears throat> but I guess he decided that he didn't want to have, he didn't want to do flat on flat counter captures. He didn't want to give Abyss resources, and so he's ready to skim off the black flat. But he's given back a flat stone. Yeah, but after doing the thing is, I wasn't really thinking about playing an immediate wall, but now all of a sudden, it's kind of uncomfortable for Black because he did what he would have loved. What Abyss would have loved to do is move down to a five and make a threat of his own, but then White will just move move his wall to a six and then move it on day five and skim everything off and that would be basically deadly. So now white continues to make his threat and now black comes in with another wall which brings it back to even um I could imagine Web capturing his own wall at some point, his own flat on B5 at some point, but that would be a big cost. All right, Sinan joining in. Sorry, I'm late. I Welcome. see number of what? opportunities, but basically White's just had this one for a really long time. Yeah, I was... I was not super optimistic for white earlier, but all of a sudden the the maneuver that happened on the b six area all of a sudden it doesn't look great for black see since about move fifteen, it seemed about decided for me for white that white pretty much had the game won, and it's just been a continuation of that, so if we look at captives right now in the game the only captives of black are underneath a hard capstone from white whereas we've got two captives under the hard cap from black we've got two uh, one captive underneath one of the flats and two captives underneath another flat for that are of white and so white's got a lot more opportunities to spread uh black doesn't really have any plus flat move counts plus fat count moves except for one, uh, which is capstone jumping and spreading. Um, and just not uh, not a great situation for black at the moment. And white kind of just has to keep pressing, keep placing. And it doesn't look like there's any opportunity that black has to make a road in the foreseeable future. I can't see it happening. Uh, so white just has to keep placing flats, and then they win. Yes, now, so, white needs to gain one more flat, otherwise it's a draw, I think, if I count right. right. because of the Comey. Yeah, so for a long time I was optimistic for black because he was way ahead on flats, but then white forced several walls, and now it's very close. But yeah, so I, if I'm counting right, white has to get one more one more flat yeah. and i mean if if black places at a6 right here that's attack threat which may or may, may not be seen by by white at this moment yeah but on the other hand even if white didn't see it as attack threat he'd probably still capture it with his wall because that allows to, him to pick up a5 that's true It's also possible that Abyss didn't see the threat. Yeah, this is the problem. White has a lot of... a lot of weak... Black is holding a lot of weakly held white captives over on 
B3, B4, and A5, and he has one wall protecting all of them, which just isn't enough. So For white, I like B1 or A2 here, because uh, if the black capstone ever moves down, for example, then white can throw that capstone hard stack over and create a road. So it's so it would be essentially pinning him, not allowing him to go down, only move up with that capstone. Which right yeah. now he wants to move down with it because he's going for that vertical threat. But he can't he can't move that he can't move his capstone unless it's with a concrete threat because he can't release White's capstone. Sure. Even even if it's even if it doesn't make a road because yeah, I just really got to keep that there. I mean, the only reason I would see him doing that would be to gain more flat counts, uh, to to throw it upwards, um, or to complete a road going down from a six down to d one. Yeah. So he just played another flat. How boring. Well, um, he's setting it up right now so he can smash that wall at E2 and complete a road going from A1 to F2. Yeah, or at least he wants to smash that wall with tack so that Abyss can't recapture with his wall, his cap. Well, if he does smash that without having, without finishing a road, then Black wins. Oh, yes, yes. That is a point. So he's got to make sure that's his final move. Yeah. A6 is really a weakness for Black, because if we're looking at the ways he can make a threat, attack threat here, he could capture on... He could cap... Okay... Okay, now Black might be working towards that horizontal threat from A3 to F2. Yeah. Now what he'd want to do probably is now place at A2. Because then if the capstone comes down to try and smash that wall on E2 to complete the road, then he can throw over that capstone and make a road himself. Which would be a very sneaky threat because he would need to leave behind a Black uh, flat on d3 before placing his white flat on c3 yeah. and then his capstone on b3. The problem is he doesn't really have a good way to make his up-down threat because he doesn't really want... If he places a flat on a6, then black will just capture with his wall. And sure. he also he also doesn't want to encourage White to play a new wall on a six because that will just very quickly capture a five and spread and make back any cost of placing a new wall and threaten to pick up skim off um b three and b four like i mean i can I can imagine placing a wall on a six might be a good move for white even without provocation. behind on flats though and he's running low on reserves yeah so i see him waiting for that that flat to go on a6 before moving that wall yeah because i can see the the, the sequence there moving the wall over to a6 and if if well, black would... doesn't move the wall from b b5 to a5 then that wall comes down captures that that uh that captive gets able to free it and then come down to a4 and then threaten that big stack. But then the wall can't come down to recapture the big stack before the other wall takes it because um, that would lead to a win for white. So yeah, yeah I, I see mostly the, the threats coming from black are going to be horizontal from A3 yeah. to F2. Well, but also, also, I'd probably, I mean, may, maybe I'd, if I was white, I'd, I'd likely just put a new wall on A6. The only concern is that you're running low on flats. Yeah. But the prop. Oh, that is an unexpected move. 
perspective. Okay. Um. Okay, I see what's going on here. So that capture happened, and if Black wants to recapture it, there's one issue is that white can place a wall at b2 now placing a wall at b2 doesn't mean that he automatically gets the stack no but it means that black can't throw that wall to cover up on b3 to keep it before the other wall takes it because that would also be leaving it up for a win so he pretty much automatically gets that that position at b3 if he places a wall at b2 on the next turn well which would then also free him up to grab those flats on B4. If um if Abyss captures with um B4 down or three B4 down, then if the wall comes on B2, White can throw his wall and leave behind a flat. Well, now the wall can go down on B4. Yeah, yes. Just a flat on B4 to play for a future turn. Okay, so a wall on B4. Yep, there it is. You... You won't see anything crazy like Black's capstone going over to recapture that. That's not going to happen. That would free up too much and basically give the win to White. But it could happen after the wall cap. After White captures with the wall, if Black threw his hard cap onto it, it would be with tack, and White couldn't move his wall his cap out. Right, if white captures with the big stack with his wall here, and black recaptures with his capstone, then it's with tack. That is true, that is true. Currently he's in tack at the moment, and a6 is that weak link. Yeah. I think Fib is seeing right now that if he captures down with, with b4, that the cap is going to come over and smash it, and he's not going to be able to make an immediate road, and he'll have to place another wall on a6, or at least a flat on a6. Mm-hmm. I think a flat on a6 would be enough and would be helpful because that would help with his flat count and if he ever wanted to make that vertical threat he would still have to go up and capture a6 which would leave his uh, wall on b6 to recapture oh he's he going for the risky play we'll see if we'll see if abyss takes this yep yeah and he does so he obviously that's obviously why he made the threat now I'd like to see how white counters this. If he places it a6, or if he does something else here. Yeah, because the problem is... He plays Flat at a6 comes out. The problem is if black moves his capstone back, then um, he just leaves the same situation as before. that now black doesn't have a hard cap but black is committing now to capturing uh, to making positive flat count moves yeah which is really putting white behind so white's actually pretty far behind at this point in flats and white's running out of flats which can be a problem because we can get into a situation where white has to try to make a road without playing any pieces yeah and black is currently uh Head with, with with plus three flat count. Now I'm looking to see if there are any specific moves. Oh, he, white has uh, white has the win here if uh, if black doesn't stop it. Yeah. I'm wondering how that'll happen. Okay, that's how that. So he will broaden. Oh, and by by what he did, all of the sudden the the big cat the the big stack on C three is entirely surrounded by black pieces. It is and tech threat. Yes, so another wall threatening to recapture. And we'll I see wonder... if that wall on B5 comes over to, to get it. Yeah, Th this, is, this is where all of a sudden Abyss is wishing he had more time to count pieces. 
Absolutely. And he's way ahead on flats at the moment. He's got. Yeah, so he did it. Ahead. One, two. Yeah, so he's ahead plus four at the moment Bl uh, with the Comey. He's with, plus yeah. one without the Comey. So plus, okay. So And White only so, has two flats left. I do like how I said earlier, White pretty much has this one. Except <laughs> I feel like there was, okay. there was a mistake made uh, with that capture from B2 to, to B3. I feel like yeah. that was a pretty big mistake. He needed to place at A2, and I think that would have really solidified it, but that capture kind of screwed him up. Yeah. Also, Sim, Sim said in chat a while ago that he thought White was just winning. I was always a bit more skeptical because Black was ahead on flat, so White, it was, the pressure was, even though White looked very good, the pressure was still on him to do something. So he's used his second to last stone to play a wall. Um, yeah, I can't see white winning at this moment. Well, but the key the key is what can black do? Black has like 11, 11 stones left, so black can't end the game anytime soon. And if I mean, white it's close to a board fill, if white skims off on b three c four b three c three c four then he could easy, he could qu very quickly come back on flats. Yeah, if he does go over and capture with b4 on c4, then he'll be able to freely move it down to c3, and then black can't smash that wall on c3, yeah. because then he'll lose. Uh, so I think that we'll see some <coughs> interesting plays here. Okay, and that, that frees him up. To make yeah. that wall smash once it once it happens. The, the other thing that I was thinking about is could would white just move his would black move his big stack to C two or B three and just kind of have a a bizarre little chase go on over there. Mm -hmm. But that yeah, because white could move over to D three once the capstone smashes and then have potential for that big stack with the wall on it. Yeah. Okay, and he captures the other so way. So he chickened out. Yeah. Um, I feel like it would have gone well for him if he had captured down. Well, the problem... So Black would have smashed. Black would have freed White's cap. Yeah, so now... Abyss is just in the mode of filling in flat stone. He's trying desperately to use up his massive pile of reserves. I feel like we're going to see next from Black uh, a flat stone on C5. And then we'll probably see a capture from E6 to D6, which would then be tack and be something that would be really difficult to counter if possible at all. Mm hmm. Also, I don't know what Fib's thinking about. The obvious obvious move is not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the thing is, he has to capture every move until he has more. He's winning on flats, which is unlikely. Yeah. I, one move. On yeah, I think I think that B two plus just just killed his his whole game. Yeah. It's another one of those insights from No Hat Coder that it's almost always better to place a flat than to capture. Mm hmm. <laughs> but placing the thing is that placing flats for the rest of the game wasn't quite enough for Fwib. He had to. He had to do something. He had to create a. He had to make room for a road. I think even, even if he had played, if he had reversed the order of what, so if he had blocked on a six before capturing with his wall, it's 
Which yeah, I'd have, have, have to go whether back. Whether he wants to capture on B3. Yeah. He's, he's working it out. What's what's Black going to do if I do this? How is he going to use that stack once he recaptures it? How, how many flats do I want to take with that wall on top of that stack? Spot. Yeah. So he didn't. Oh, so it went for a <laughs> capture that I'm not sure why he did that. Because now if he throws it, he gains a flat stone. Yeah. He, I mean, at, at this point, all Fib, like, f all he can try to do is pick up flat stones, and he's decided. The problem is if he captures on b3, then white will smash it, giving up two flats, but black will smash it, giving up two flats, but black will regain the three flats that are currently under white's wall, and so it'll all be a watch. Yeah, I, I don't see how Fib can win this. An abyss could always make a mistake being so low on time, but that's not really abyss's style. I mean, he's got a pretty solid lead at this point. Yeah. Because currently, eleven flats to ten. Yeah, the strange thing is, black was so far behind on playing pieces that he just can't he can't play the rest of his pieces I'm not seeing much of a way out for white here. Yeah. And now, you can what's interesting about this in this series of games is this is currently playing black. If or rather game four, since this is game three, if in game four Abyss wins, he wins the whole six game series. One Assuming he wins this game, yes. Assuming he wins this game. So we could be seeing the end of the tournament today. Yes. Fwib has to say about that. Still hmm. contemplating capturing that stack on B3. I mean, I think he has to try. There's nowhere else he can get enough. I mean, if he does that, then he moves that cap stack over to to D3 to threaten the, the tall stack with the wall, and then that wall has to move. Or the other thing, he he's probably thinking about how can he... what can he do to make it so that when he captures on B3, leaving those flats behind is expensive for white. I mean, if he captures B3, captures B3 with the, with the capstone, and Fwib moves his stack over his stack from E3 to D3, then Black's response will most likely be moving his wall from E4 to D4, which would cut that that sort of thread off. Um, and I think that would be overall positive for black and so that's probably why fwib is not making that yeah. capture move right now so i mean do you see anything any thing clever about the move he just did not it at weeks it weeks of desperation to me it just seems like a really negative move <laughs> Can't place another flat to go for the road on C1 unless he he decides, okay, I'm going to capture on my next move. Nah, yeah, he can't do it now. Can't do it. Let's 
see that big stack on B3 probably come down and recapture that. Well, it can't. It, it's it's seven, so he would have It'll to leave be behind white behind. One white flat, which is fine. Yeah. The big stack, the one that really matters, is the one that ends up on B1, which is far away enough to not be recaptured. Yeah. So. Oh, goes for a wall instead because he's already with... got plenty of uh, plenty of flats yeah. to play with, and he needs to use them up anyway. Okay. Is it still? A road threat. It's no longer that clear on flats. I think it might be even. Nine to it, ten, so he still has a plus two. Yeah, and it's but it's fibs. Is it? I counted eight to ten. Wait, because if does, is it a draw? If fib plays if. Fib? Nine. Oh no, nine to ten. That's so yeah, nine to ten, so. he has to gain one more. The key to note though is if Wib can gain one more, then he can always just play his flat. So he he can end the game whenever he wants. So if he gets it even, he can get a draw. Yeah. So if Which, he moves his so A five stack around and spreads it out, or if he he uses his wall to crush. Yeah, so for example, if he goes a5, uh, 3 a5, um, b, uh, 3 a5, right, 1, 2, then what, then black has to make a more than a plus 2 remove or it's a draw. A6. No, so no, capture. no. Never mind. That's only a plus one move. That's, it's not a plus two because he's not covering. Yeah, that is not... the move he needed to make because that is the what gives him um, most pressure right now. Yeah. But Currently, can't... let's do the flat count now. That doesn't change it. Nine. Um, but Nine to <laughs> eleven. Okay. This captures with that. That also doesn't change it. Oh, but... No, but you see, now... Now Abyss has an easy, an easy spread from E3. Which that goes was back. a useless capture. So now, I think that gave, that gave plus one to white. They left behind a, a flat, so we didn't actually make any progress there. Oh, so that's just minus one, minus two. Um, yeah. So yeah, so it's it's nine to ten right now, uh, in favor of black. was thinking with that move back where he left yeah i just don't see the point of that well because i think he, he he saw i think the problem is that after after abyss captured with his wall he was threatening to spread to e1 and then that that would have been basically game over i think is what he must have thought. Okay, that was a good move from Fwib. So now he's able to throw that stack from F2 and cover up F3 and F4 to give yeah. him a plus three. Or, yeah, plus, plus two. Three, P plus two over a normal move. Yeah, plus two over normal move. Plus three total. Okay. Now I am... Yeah, but it's it's way in Black's favor again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the problem is that Black has the opportunity has the option of just playing flats, whereas White doesn't. So every move yep. that White makes has to be clever. Mm -hmm. 
and there just aren't that many clever moves on the board. <laughs> okay, so what he can do is he can... Oh no, it's Abyss's turn. Yeah, so what, what Fwib wants to do is capture E6. Yeah, it's an the other attack threat. Oh yeah, but the other thing he can do is, um, five, e <coughs> one left one one three, which is a plus four flat move. But I don't. It's still not enough. There's e six here. No, he doesn't. Okay, I see what he's doing, though. Yeah. But I just don't think it's enough. I mean, it's it's definitely better than he's been doing in the past few moves, and Abyss is down to 10 seconds. Yeah, that is... That is true. This... This is prime miss... This is prime miss attack threat territory, because it feels like the game is beyond attack threats. Okay, so because of the size of that stack with the capstone on it, he's only able to leave, uh, to move, uh, he, he'll have to leave behind two whites on top of three blacks if he's going to move his maximum amount. So he'll only yeah. be able to carry one white flat with himself. So he'll be able to move a total of two spaces with white control. Um, so if he captures E6 here, that's, or, yeah, or if he does that, and that's also attack threat. Yeah. And the attack threat is better when Abyss is so low on time, I think. Mm -hmm. I agree. And he's now 9 to 8. What For white. What was okay, that? Okay, that's an interesting wall coming down there. And that's attack threat for black. Oh uh, yeah. And I could see the wall on C six moving over maybe, but again that wouldn't do much for his flats. Unless he yeah. was able to recapture. Okay. Alright. Oh I miscounted. I didn't think he could do that. I didn't okay. think so either. Now 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 he's at limit. Yeah, now yeah. he's at the limit and he can't do that. But so he doesn't have a he currently does not have attack threat. And black has three flats left. Oh, he does have attack threat. My bad. Oh, oh white wins. Oh, white wins yeah. here if he sees it. If we if, if sees this, he wins. Yeah, if he sees it, he can take it. The fact but obviously that has... Abyss didn't see it. He missed yeah, it. Yeah, the fact that a Fwib hasn't done it yet makes me think he's missed it. Yeah, he didn't even... Oh my oh. god! That had to have been misclick. That had to have been a misclick. Was it a misclick? Well, I, we'll have to ask after the fact. Oh my goodness. Because why would he do that? He had He had the win. Oh, yep. Oh, man. That is brutal. Wait, I think if white plays his flat here, it's a draw. Oh, I didn't see the win. Or it's this click or something. Yeah, if Web plays his flat here, it's a draw. Um, I mean, also a good move here is to do... Uh, D6 capturing E6. Yeah. He has to decide. <laughs> Maybe I'm just chicken, but if it was me, I think I would take a draw. But on the other hand, maybe we're back and maybe does... Because Black's used up most of his resources, so maybe, maybe Fwib can get a win on Flatsy anyway. 
What the hell? What clever thing? Wait, what is going no, on? No, that, that, that was no good, I don't think. But now he, now Abyss can just spread to just spread on the E file, and I think it's done. No, because he's uh, Abyss is also or a Fwib is also working on a horizontal threat here. Oh, but mm. yeah, I guess like it, I don't think it was a it was a good play, not at all. But I probably should have taken the draw since he missed that win. Yeah. He might he might have seen the win that he got that he missed the win prior or was a misclick and Abyss didn't give him the, the undo or whatever, but that might have been throwing him off his mental game. I mean you've got a This is a tax threat from Black right now. Yeah, and I I assume Fribb is just deciding how to spread things when he throws his cap over the yeah, because they're both pretty F4. close. Ugh. That had to have been a misclick. Well, I mean, that is tack. That is still tack. Okay. Oh, so he, he probably did that so that he has threats in both directions. I mean, he would have had a threat in both directions if he had spread it all the way to F3 as well, but... Okay, now does he come over and reclaim E2? The other thing to note is he can now that Black's cap is moved, Fwib can, can capture on C3. Yeah. So like this game, I feel like this game is not over. No, it doesn't look to be that way. So it's there currently some, some nine to nine from both players, but I I feel like misplay of the night goes to Fwib, but he may potentially take this game back. Yeah. Especially Abyss is at nine, eight, seven, six, five. That's ten to not seven a threat. Right now, without Comey. Uh, black up ten to seven. No Comey. Yeah. Okay. That is not tack. <laughs> Why do that? Black, I mean. <sighs> it's. Yeah. This is. This has ended up being a much more dynamic endgame than. It looked like it was going to be. Yeah. I think we can owe that to some mistakes on both <laughs> sides from the low time on both sides. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, I didn't see the I didn't see that it was tack until I, until sign pointed it out in chat. I was looking back at previous moves, so I didn't actually see the move that came before that. <laughs> I wasn't watching the game live. When I scooted up to, to live I instantly saw that he had the win, and I was blown away uh, that Abyss had missed that, but apparently Fwib missed it too. But I feel like if it were legitimately a misclick, then Abyss would have given it to him, but... Well, the thing is that they might have been they might have been too low on time to, like, hash that out. Yeah, maybe. to five seconds here he's got to make his move okay okay so he did that because the problem is black is down to two so he plays yeah i don't i don't think there's anything white can do i see throwing from d2 up to cover d3 and d4 yeah uh, so but I th I think if Black plays his flat, he wins. Oh yeah, that's right. He does. Yeah, wins. 
That was a and roller coaster. That's, that's got to be painful for Fwib knowing that he missed that that threat. I think we saw that in the in the past uh, set of two games too. We we saw a missed threat. Yeah. That yeah. Well, I assume we will take a bit of a break before coming back for game four, which could be the last game. <laughs>